Welcome back, everyone. We're playing some more X4 with Zero and Dan on command. Hell yeah. And after flexing on four bosses, five bosses, yeah, it's now time to flex on Bird, bird Guy. <laughs> Space Butler! <laughs> this boss is badass. Yeah, it, it is. He, I think he easily does the most damage with like any single hit. Yeah. Well, also, this stage is is cool. It's just, it's an onslaught. Yeah, it's an air base. Whoa. And then you get the, uh, the flying ride armor. Pew, pew, pew. Always make sure you're, uh, moving when you're charging the bet the laser up, because it, uh, it'll root you in place if you're not. Yeah. An unfortunate ride armor thing. This is also another good example of not forcing uh, the player to use, you know... Like, you don't have to use the right armor for this. Nope! <laughs> but why not? It's fun. You get to fly. And the charge shot wrecks everything. Yeah. And it homes in. And it's blue. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> and it, it's like reliving very, you know, several small Independence Day uh, sequels. <laughs> How many motherships do they have? Well, the mother of the mothership. The grandmothership. Now you're in the base with the lasers. I forget, did you play uh, Metal Slug X at all? I did. I, I own that on the, P on the PS1. Love that uh, Independence Day ending to it. Yeah, I was just kind of like... <laughs> it took me forever to get there because I was not good at Metal Slug. I never really had that much of a problem with it, but that's because it wasn't an arcade version, so you had infinite continues. Yeah, I mean, like, I burned through it like that, but as far as clearing it the the arcade way... Haha! -ha! Take that, laser guy! Ah! I'm trying to two-cycle it. Yo, no, you broke the window! <laughs> Oops. Fortunately, their deductible allowed them to... And that's the whole level. Yeah, it was, uh... Very short. Very short, sweet, to the point. To make him sound so badass, because, like, when he puts his foot down, he shakes the He's entire like, smash! Woo-hoo-hoo! Why didn't he go down? There we go. <laughs> I also like that glowy thing he's got around him. Yeah, that prevents him from taking too much damage in any one move. Oof. Take that! Zero guy. <laughs> I'm waiting for one particular move here. Oh, I know what you're waiting for. Oops, Get that wasn't it. Get ready. Oops. Fuck that up. It's not over yet. So right, now I can just kind of use these to get through the rest of the fight. Ooh. Oh, oh. oh the first death. All things considered, that's a very good run. That was a bummer. I thought I was gonna get through this with zero deaths. I, I always, I always fumble around because I go too fast, and I usually die with spikes. To try to pull off sick moves. Uh, I was just trying to stop him before the tornadoes went off, and I wasn't fast enough. I tried to get too uh, close for the extra damage. Extra damage. Try to take zero damage. <laughs> So this is how I should have been doing this fight last time instead of getting flexed on the whole time. Well, you had to get, if you had to get flexed on somebody, this is not a terrible boss to get flexed on. No, that's true. At least this boss does cool stuff. This is one you want to stop. That ability is almost impossible to dodge. Space Quasar! Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> ah, that's going to be stuck in my head for the rest of my life. Yep. It's, it's not, not over, over yet. yet! Now it is. Hey, look, you can see his robot butthole. <laughs> he doesn't have one. That's the spider. I I'm sorry, robot cloaca. <laughs> yeah. I also love that Zero's arm always hurts. Mm -hmm. It's always the same arm. Well, that's another, like, 
funny anime thing is you either clutch your arm or your torso. Yes. Ugh. Ugh. I, I'm injured. Enhanced Z saber. Your wow. your saber is now a cooler color. Man, I'm still pissed. I died right there, man. It's okay. You probably you might die here. We'll see. Yet, Stingray. If I die here, it's most likely going to be trying to get the E tank. The, well, yeah, that, that's that's how I always eat shit. Because I always. Do I say that or the heart tank. The heart tank, I'm pretty okay at getting because I just have to jump less. Wait, what do we call those? Is it heart tank or heart pieces? Uh, I keep mistakenly calling them heart pieces. I, I like that better than whatever heart tank is. Yeah, but tank, look at my motorcycle. The tank very makes cool. them sound more robotic. Yeah, but he's got a ponytail. How robotic do you need? Yeah. <laughs> okay, it should be coming up like right here. Yep. I always also I always dash too much too. Yeah, that's the pitfall. I try not to dash on these too much because that's how I always die. But that's how you but get it's through so the level fun. fast. Yeah, well I don't really like these uh, whatever you call the bike. Um, it's not ride armor. Um, I used to know what it was because I used to as well because I actually had the of uh, the the motorcycle from X7. Oh hell yeah! Uh, with axle. Which is unfortunate. Yeah. I also had X and Zero back in the day. Yeah! Yeah, that's the, that's the technique you must use. Yeah. This is also really cool that a boss actually makes an appearance in his level. I wish that happened more often. Yeah, because, like... They just know, wait for you, like... It's like, <laughs> <laughs> he's coming. Well, you, you know, you have uh, Infinity Big Mac. <laughs> Infinity Big Mac. <laughs> but he doesn't show up in his level. He just uses another thing to fuck you up. Yeah, but it's still like his presence is still. Got yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Ha! oh. You nice. thought, motherfucker. <laughs> nice. That was crisp. I hate this bus. I don't mind it. I I, I just I, don't I, use his weakness on him as zero. It's way easier. Yeah. Well, I always I always want to because it's cool. That's the thing. Zero is cool in addition to being an edgy anime character, but all of his moves look cool as shit. Yep. My Black Arbor Zero action figure has the purple saber. <laughs> which is pretty sweet. As it should. Yeah. Ooh, ha, ha. Oops. I want him to come down. I need him to come down here. Punch him in his stupid beret. Oh my god, this is terrible RNG. Come on. Done. Need a burrito, dude. That was pretty some slick shooting. Yup. Well, theoretical shooting, of course. <laughs> it's nice swinging. <laughs> nice blade slinging, bruh. <laughs> Man, you're just wrecking this, this game. I told you. I might have to play today. <laughs> I told you, man. Hyun One of the least necessary power-ups in this one. Which it, one is it's this? It's the air dash. Yeah. Slash Beast. Slash Beast's design is actually really badass. Yeah, he looks like Robot Blanca. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't look anywhere near as cool when he stands up, though. I have no idea no. what's going on with his face. Yeah, I think he's just... That's just... He's, he's, he made that face at his mom once, and it just stuck. <laughs> your mom your mom wasn't lying. Your mom wasn't lying. <laughs> Don't make funny faces. You'll get stuck that way. Uh, this train stage. I love train stages. I sometimes do. Well, if they're good. But, I mean, the idea of, of the train stage is awesome. It's just a fun trope as well of old action movies. The... Yeah. The, Fight scene the atop the train. The train job. Not even action movies, like spy movies have them too, right? Yep. Well, spy Who Loved Me w had, had several scenes on a train. Which is, it's strange that trains are not a thing that folks, uh, folks use on the day to day. Unless you're one of those cool people living on the East Coast. <laughs> and th those aren't even the fun types of trains. No, that's the I have to go to work train. 
I do at some point want to go on uh, like a traditional train ride or do one of those murder mysteries on the train. Listen, man, I like Andrew Jackson Jihad too, but you know we're not going to ride box cars. <laughs> So this is another time where you can just take a bunch of hits because that's the end of part yeah. one. Yeah. I also like that sub boss. Yeah. It's not <coughs> it's not bad. It's not like another thing. It's better than the one in uh I think five the, the sub boss in five, isn't there? No? Um I can't remember. To think. Uh n it's not so much a sub boss as it is uh your break the thing with the timer. Oh right, yeah. So I guess that kind of counts. It's not really a sub boss. There's just a bunch of train cars. Oh that all have hell a... yeah! It's ride armor time. So I hate that they make it that just about every train car back there is destroyable, but this is the only one that has anything in it. Oh, I, I wreck every one of them. Yeah, but you can go back and destroy the previous ones. Like there would be something in them, and there's not. Oh right. Yeah, I mean. But it's so satisfying, you just wreck the level you're on, like, oh, yeah. literally. The right armor is just destroying this whole train. It's like, frick me, no, frick you. <laughs> Don't be such a loser. I will not pay to sit in the observation car. <laughs> <laughs> but Billing like, Amtrak? I, I just had to call you out for a joke you made a few minutes ago. Uh, it's not Andrew Jackson Jihad anymore, it's AJJ. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm an old man. <laughs> He changed his name. Oh, that's right. So, so dumb. I will now begin talking about my conservative right-wing fanfiction featuring zero Donald Trump. Stop. Vladimir Putin. <laughs> Stop this madness. And Ronald McDonald. <laughs> and Ronald McDonald. You've got my, you've got my attention now. <laughs> Slice and dice. Yes. Here he comes. So fast. So... Eat your heart out, Sonic. Cool. Ouch. I need Use the dash. I need to do this differently. Whoa! I, I've always thought that was cool. Yeah, his attacks are badass. Especially his little grab attack that he does when he jumps up at you. Yep, and he's uh, that one. That one, yeah. It fucks well, you up too. You gotta he, watch out. He for actually it. acts like a beast. Yeah. He won't just grief you with some stupid special weapon. <laughs> Don't do it. He's dead. Huh? Huh? You surely showed him. All right, now I go back to Magma Dragoon's level real quick, like, and then we're already on to the Sigma stages. Oh, uh, yes. Meanwhile, on the planet Arizona... <laughs> you learn... Do, do we have a cutscene after this? Um, I feel like there's one coming soon. We'll see. No, it's just Iris talking to you. Ripley, Ripley the the space space go to the spaceport! But now it's time to do the, do the cleanup. By the way, I'll show you guys right now. The ability you get from Slash Beast is this. I will probably never use it. Yeah, it's, it doesn't really have that much of a... It hits uh, It hits hard as hell. Yeah, it does. It's just tricky. and I mean, you could technically use that to, uh, to bat down what the part of the final boss. Yeah. But with not, Zero, it's not more just, just, just hit it. Just hit it. That's Zero's motto. <laughs> Every time I have a problem in my life, just hit it. Every time we touch, I get this feeling. <laughs> <Ready>. No! <laughs> Whoa! Those look like the raspberry scones my mother made last week! <laughs> she didn't make any raspberry scones. <laughs> last week I, I was lying. Twas a caprice. Cool. Yes, you win. What a great game. 
It is a great game. Ugh. Don't ever sound sarcastic again. Ugh. Oh no, it's like you fought guys like this before! <laughs> Whoa! Ugh. You know, I'm willing to say that they used a lot of the same, same, same assets from this game as they did in Mega Man 8. Did they really now? Uh, as far, at least as far as some of these, like, textures and stuff. Okay. But, I mean... It's an industrial design, like yeah. They're very. What are you, you going to do? Difficult to distinguish from one another in general. Yeah, it's it's only a hundred years in the future. <laughs> well, a hundred years from twenty, whatever twenty XX is. You never know. Zero. You blah blah blah. My brother. Blah 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 blah. Colonel Fight Two Electric Boogaloo. Oops. Ha! They'll use the enemy breaker. Oh no. Oh no. I like that Zero has a cool laser sword and he has like a glow stick baton. <laughs> No, I assure you, I am just as cool and legitimate as Zero. <laughs> oh, you kill me! Not that he explosion. did. Yep. <laughs> oh, get ready. Where's Iris? No! She went someplace away, final wee pod. <laughs> So Look, that's so everything is going according to plan. When I fight the general, this uh, run is going to come to a very slow, slow stop. Yeah, we're, we're probably not going to have time uh, by the time you get to the general. Mostly because, you know, we're going to get flagged for some kind of, like, ad thing. Because we said the general too many times. <laughs> See, Shaq. If Shaq were here on this Let's Play... Could you, man? I would love it. Dude, that would be rad. Shaq, Shaq seems like he's a badass Shaq, dude. if you're listening... Iris! So you fought with my brother! Oh no! Literally wearing her heart on her sleeve! Purple. Crystal. Circles. Sigma! <laughs> oh man. Brother. Stay with me, brother. Oops. Sucks that this boss fight won't last long enough for you to for you to hear all the all of this song, guys, because it's pretty rad. Yeah. Oops. Do the thing. Now Zero must fight the one that he loves that we've barely established because. Ooh, that's bad. I'm using a tank. I mean, you have to use it at some point. Oh, <laughs> uh, so symbolically, she's shooting those X's, uh, which is representative of the feelings of insecurity that <laughs> Zero feels towards X. Oh, guys, get ready. <laughs> just get ready. For get this. ready. <laughs> yeah. Oh, jeez. I'm just gonna lean back and let this one do all the talking. Oh my god, okay. Iris! Iris! Zero! Hang in there, Iris. Please, stay away from Replifoss. Let's live together. In a world where only Reploids exist. <laughs> We just had our first public fight. You and I, I you want to move no in? Just for <laughs> it's only a fantasy. Yes, I know, but I wanted to believe it. I wanted to live in a world where only reploids exist. Uh, she's going for a feel. Iris. Bleh. Iris. Here we go. Iris. 
Oh. Iris. <laughs> Iris. Iris. Ah! <laughs> oh, no, this isn't happening. There's no reason for me to go on. What? What am I fighting for? Brutal. Yes. <laughs> oh man, I love it. Man alive, do I love me some. That is the best non gameplay part of this game. Yes. There's multiple routes you can take through here. And to be clear, the this one is the best one. Yep. The other one has a lot of pitfalls and right armor stuff. Which is... It's, uh, it's whack. It's crap. It's whack. I also, I've always wanted to know what the deal was with these particular spikes. Yeah. Like, why, why, why do they look like hair? Zero versus the ingrown space hair! Oh boy, here we go. What do we got for time? Uh, we have uh, nine minutes. Okay. I think you can do it then. This fight blows when you're zero. There is a way you can kill him very quickly, and I can't pull it off. Uh, it's when you're riding his fist, you can mess with his invulnerability frames that he doesn't really have, and just crush him. But I can never pull it off. I've never been able to do it. I have no choice. So he, he has no choice. This is his job. I just have to go through this fight at an agonizingly slow pace, and just bop him every now and then. For the great boss fight, you'll save some time. Go to the general and wait in line. <laughs> hey, I'm Shaq. Oops. This is actually some decent RNG until he does this. Yeah. So I I'm not even going to bother climbing his fist. I'm just going to stay down here whenever he does this and dodge his little donuts. I'm glad. You know, I I'm glad I wasn't the only one that thought of these as donuts. They are circular. Laser blast. Pow, pow, pow. This is this is why this fight sucks. There's just a random chance that he's going to keep doing this. Uh, I don't remember the most he's done it consecutively for me, but it was bad. I was just stuck down here for a long time. Boo, boo, boo. I like that he has no points of articulation. <laughs> oh yeah, he's very lazily animated. Hey, he's really big. Just make him go move across God the screen. Give him a jetpack and a throne. Okay, him blowing up his throne with his own jetpack is sick, though. Yeah, he's just like, I don't give a shit. I'll build myself another throne. <laughs> I'm the general. So he just filed a claim, and it was that it was that easy, you know. It was <laughs> got a quote on his throne. We are not sponsored. <laughs> we are not sponsored. And I, uh, I I really really hope that you don't listen to the sponsorship part of. This whole thing, because it's really quite terrible. I, I do like that move. It's badass, but it Once also again, provides it's... me like no opportunities to hit him. This fight is way easier when you're X. This is one of the few fights that just being X well, th is they, the best. They have, to, they have to give you an incentive to play with X, and if this is it, I'm okay with that. Sure. Oh my god. Stop it. Get some help. Get some help. Stop it. Get some help. Oh, fuck that. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. Make it stop. <laughs> Press the your button. What I need him to do is with the move where he stands on one side and starts shooting projectiles at you. Oh, my God. Yeah. So when he stands on one side of the screen and starts shooting these like uh, spiky projectiles at you, you can double jump and slap him in the face over and over again. Yeah, I love it. And that speeds up the pace of the fight a lot. Oh no! I know there's like there's like ways you can trick him into into lowering or doing the thingy, but I, I have no idea what they are. It's been a long time. It's been a long time, Sonic. You're gonna have to climb those fists. I'm not gonna do it. I will just take a bunch of damage and die if I do. Oh, here we go. This is what you're fighting for. Oh my god. 
I always get too close to him, so I'm nervous because he's one of the bosses that bumping into uh, removes most of your health bar. Yeah, which is stupid. But and this is why I told you the run's going to come to maybe a Maybe Zero's stop. allergic to gold paint. Maybe. Wait, he has gold trim. Maybe Zero is allergic to donuts. <laughs> but, uh... What a terrible future allergy to have. This is a thing. This is this boss is also a speedrun killer. Yep. So anybody who knows about speedrunning Mega Man X4 will tell you the same thing. Everybody freaking hates this boss, man. You know, I, he came as a little cardboard cutout with a Mega Man action figure I bought a long time ago. Which was really weird. A cardboard cutout? Yeah. Why, though? Because they could, because Jazzwares. That's not the <laughs> company that they just put weird shit. Like, one of them came with the web spider for some reason. It's not, he's and, not even, like, a popular boss. I know. He sucks. He looks like a spider. <laughs> not like a cool... <laughs> <laughs> Not like a cool spider robot, just like, hey, look, it's a spider. Yeah. We're gonna have to make a, a, a top ten list of the sickest Mavericks out there. No. There are too many of those videos on YouTube already. Sick. Oh my god. Gonna have to hop them fists. I'm not doing it. I'll just die. Just die, eggs. Had the blue raspberry donuts of pain. I just need him to get a little bit lower on health so he'll start his transition. Yeah. Oh, is this it? Yep. Oops. That's right. Oop. And air dash. This is what you want. Yep. I remember this. If he now. just does this forever, you're good to go. Too much of hell fun. Yes. Yes. My blue belt buckle of pain. Whoops. There we go. Okay. That's finally over. All right. And on that note, uh, we still have a few minutes left, but uh, it's the next. It's the next. It's the next level is the final one, right? Yes. So tune in for part three of the Zero Run. Where we will finish it. Oh, wait, it's time for dialogue. What is this? What happened? Bro. What's happening next? Tune in next time and find out. Goodbye. Depth?